Hey guys, Eric with Blue Line Fishing. Welcome back to the channel. Your time's important to me as always. And what we're going to do in today's time is we're going to check out these switch blades from Queen Tackle and how they can help you improve your chatterbait or bladed jig fishing. Stick around. I think you'll enjoy it. All right, guys, let's jump into this. Uh, this is the Queen's Tackle Switchblades. These are not a new product. They've been on the market for several years, but you know, actually I just ran across them uh, last fall and I've been using them quite a bit uh, this past spring and into the summer because you know, bladed jigs or chatter baits is something I throw year round, spring, summer, into the winter. Um, I just really like fishing reaction baits and power baits and this is a neat option to be able to customize uh, your chatter bait or bladed jig fishing. So guys, if you haven't seen these, what the switch blade allows you to do is attach a chatterbait blade or a blade to any jig that you currently have with one caveat, one exception. Um, it has to have a vertical line tie, cannot have a horizontal line tie. Like this one I've attached it to, it has that vertical line tie right there on it. Um, some of the ones, for example, it just won't work on, uh, at least not work well unless you, you, you put some... Uh, some split rings and stuff and attachments and then I don't think the blade has the same action to it but if it has a horizontal line tie like this is one of the jigs I make myself it's got a horizontal line tie on it won't work on that or just that the one that's kind of the stand up vertical line tie that's like on that one it won't work on those so what you need is you need that vertical line tie like that jig has right there okay that's what you need uh, to be able to attach this blade. It's super simple. It does take a minute. Uh, you'll just need a couple tools. In a minute or two, I'll go over what heads I think work a little bit better uh, with a switchblade too. So these switchblades, uh, I found them to be average about $5.99, so about six bucks for a three pack. They um, so about two bucks a blade, and they give you a lot of options as far as being able to customize the jigs or bladed jigs that you have. The bottom of the switchblade there has just a small pin that is on there uh, that goes horizontal across the blade you just raise up these two uh, little metal posts and then you insert the jig across it and I'll show you how I've done that on this one right here so you're just going to insert the pin across there through the, the vertical line tie and then close these two pins back down uh, super simple it does take a minute uh, just to get it on there the only thing you'll need is a pair of pliers preferably a kind of a sharper edge pair of needle nose pliers and I find it a little bit easier to uh, to lift out the blades on the top kind of fold them back if you will with just a case knife or a butter knife makes it a little bit easier then once you get them bent up you insert your jig you fold those back down and uh, you're ready to start fishing with it so guys a minute ago I was talking about what heads I think work better with it. I've experimented with a different style heads. You know, this is an Arky style head on here. I'll show you one little better view of it maybe. It's that kind of old school head shape, uh, kind of pear shaped right there. And this is what you'll find on a lot of chatter baits, a lot of bladed jigs. It lets that jig, that blade make contact on the both sides and gives a little bit different sound pattern. But I've also found this jig here is a swim bait, or I'm sorry, not a swim bait, but a swim jig head. And it lets that blade get a wider wobble to it and flow pretty freely as well so I think both these two are my favorites as far as attaching to it but you can do other ones as well I mean you can do a football style head like this on that one you could do the ball style head and this has kind of got a concave section to it too but the ball style head on it as well and uh, there's a lot of other head designs you can use with that but one of the biggest things I think it lets you do is like on these two jigs and any of them that I attach it lets you have this weed guard right here and that is so important when you're fishing say for example I fish a lot of lay downs timber things like that I can throw it up in there and it just does not get hung up uh, near as much as one with that big open hook on there and usually the chatterbaits have a big you know four odd or even a five odd hook on there that always wants to roll when it hits that structure it wants to roll over like this and when it rolls that hook catches right in and you're hung up and it's just a frustrating day on the water so this gives me the option to be able to um, use the weed guard to my full advantage when I'm fishing any kind of bladed jig. Uh, one other thing too, it the, the, the vibration pattern on this is different than a jackhammer or a traditional chatterbait or a thunder cricket. I mean they're all different. Uh, the, for example, comparing it to a jackhammer, which is the primary bladed jig that I usually throw, um, the, the wobble is not as wide, not as pronounced, and the thump is not as hard on the retrieve. But 
there's certain days like the other day I fished this uh, most of the morning and they preferred it over any of the other bladed jigs and if the water was a little clear and the water is definitely warm right now we're in the middle of summer and I think they like that little bit tighter wobble not as pronounced wobble and vibration on it and it seemed to do really really well so that's something you're gonna find out that's a little different on these they don't have quite the thump or the the wobble uh, that the chatterbaits do but one thing that is nice about them as soon as they hit the water uh, they immediately begin to hunt they immediately begin to to, to wobble because that's what I want because a lot of times in that first two or three cranks when you're fishing structure uh, especially lay downs timber things like that it's those first two three four cranks where you get bit so it's pretty important that it starts to wobble right out of the gate so guys that's kind of a quick look at the switchblade here you know I, I think it's a neat option to have to be able to out there I mean on the water take any jig that you have at least any jig with a vertical line tie and make a bladed jig out of it and the neat thing is you know you can do so many different color patterns with it as far as skirts I mean yeah you can change a skirt out there on the water that's no problem at all but being able to vary up the head styles which gives it a different vibration thump and cadence and uh, the weed guard on there is super important and once again I know that you know Z-Man and a bunch of other companies make bladed jigs they make chatter baits with the weed guard but it's nice to be able to just take any bait that's in your box and you can immediately convert it over to a bladed jig um, and then you can switch it back to a regular jig if you want to because these come off as easy as they come on super easy to do uh, six bucks a three pack I think it's a pretty neat option to add to your arsenal guys I hope you got something out of that video today if you did please consider subscribing to the channel also hit that bell notification button maybe smash that like button too while you're at it and if you want leave me a comment down below I always like reading what you guys have to say and I try and answer each and every one of them too remember though until that next video get out there and fish